So you've been playing Overwatch a lot. You have some characters you like, some you don't like, and some you haven't even tried yet. But you start to notice something. Some characters, when played well, work really good together. Welcome to the world of team composition, where the taste of victory can depend on how well your team messes with each other and if they use their characters to the fullest extent. With Overwatch's dependency on teamwork, it's very important to not go into matches solo with a bunch of random people who don't communicate, if you want to win. I totally get just wanting to learn how each characters work and not worry too much about team composition, but you came to watch this video for a reason. Thing is, it's tough to constantly get a group of six friends together. What if you can only get mm, two of your friends, say? There's got to be something we can do, right? So today I'm going to show you my five different team comps for three man teams because I feel that three players are the minimum amount that you need where you can start to put a little more strategy into your character selections that work well together and can make the difference in a match. Now remember, these won't compare to a full team of six players that cooperate, but this will give you a huge advantage to a team that is simply not working together to win. Let's begin. The first is likely the most well-known and efficient team comp to date and is very good on payload maps where you are on the attacking side. This one you need Reinhardt, Mercy, and Bastion. You could supplement Bastion with Torbjorn, but Bastion is much preferred. The way this works is you all three plop right on top of the payload using Reinhardt's shield to protect Bastion while he sets up in turret mode, mowing down your foes as the payload moves along. Mercy will be in the back doing her healing, but she should also focus on buffing Bastion with that 30% damage boost. With his already crazy time to kill, this will ensure that no one stands a chance. Just be sure to keep an eye on your Mercy since she will eventually become a top priority to your uncoordinated enemy players. Oh, and Reinhardt? Let a buddy know when you're about to take down your shield, okay? Number two is going to be Lucio, Soldier, and Zarya. This makeup is good for attacking control points, but it's still flexible for multiple game types. Lucio's speed boost is great for getting the team back in the action in case things go south and pushing control points. Between his area heal ability, Soldier's Biotic Field, and Zarya's shields, this makeup will be very difficult for the enemy team to take out. Zarya isn't a pick up and play type of character as much as Soldier and Lucio, so be sure your Zarya player knows how to use her well. She also has one of the best team-oriented ultimates in the game with her Gravitron Surge. Use Lucio's ultimate to give shields. Once pushed in, use Zarya's Graviton ultimate, then use Soldier to clean up house. There are more powerful ultimates, but Soldier has the healing field, so... yeah. Third is going to be Widowmaker, Hanzo, and Mercy. This is a pretty straightforward setup. You got two snipers and a healer, so you don't have to look for any health packs. But there's a little more to this than you think. Again, you want to use Mercy to not just heal, but give the snipers that damage boost too. She is also the only healer that can keep up with Hanzo and Widowmaker in case they need to move and or get to a high sniper perch by dashing towards them. You could use two of the same type of sniper, but with one of each you get the best of both worlds. You can have Hanzo's sonic arrow that reveals enemies and Widowmaker's infosight, so as to have a very clear picture of where your enemies are at all times. Also, Hanzo is easier to land shots with, while Widowmaker hits a lot harder. Then, combine Widowmaker's Venom Mind Trap with Hanzo's Scatter Arrow and no one will be able to rush you. But just in case someone does go down, no need to walk all the way back to your sniper perk. Your Mercy will resurrect you, assuming you protected her of course. I know as Mercy you'll want to help the whole team stay alive, 
but you kind of want to stick by your friends. If you feel bad about it, just remind yourself that these other people aren't even trying to communicate in a team-based game. So they were selfish first. <laughs> Fourth is going to be Roadhog, Symmetra, and Zenyatta. I almost went with Junkrat instead of Symmetra, but there's no good way to get the team back in action with Junkrat. Plus, I love Symmetra. She's highly underrated in her usefulness and power. This makeup will help lock down a point and rack up kills. Use Symmetra's turrets to slow down and damage enemies which will allow Roadhog to yank them in and use a scrap gun on the already weakened foe. Or you can just have Roadhog yank someone into a room full of Symmetra turrets just waiting for them. Combined with Zenyatta's Orb of Discord, which allows for an extra 50% damage against the enemy who has it, and no one can live through all this firepower. And although this team doesn't move very fast to get back into the fight, that's where Symmetra's teleporter comes in. Booyah! The last compilation I have for you is contrived of Reaper, Winston, and Tracer. Notice that I didn't include a healer in this one. That's because this makeup requires that you take care of your own health. That means learning where the health packs are on the map, both the small ones and the big ones. These characters are really good at rushing in and causing chaos then getting out to recover, then rush back in. I mean, that's Winston's entire method. If you notice you aren't doing well with Winston, then try to imagine him being a team dispenser rather than a character that can take anyone out. That's why his ultimate is so useful for separating a team and not necessarily getting kills. So the way this works is you have Winston leap into the action and cause some chaos. Then Reaper and Tracer follow on the outskirts taking out the enemy. Then when Winston is low on health and has to get away, so do Tracer and Reaper. You could also allow Reaper or Tracer to lead the charge with the others to following up instead. So those are my five team makeups for small teams of three. What do you think? Did this help at all? Did you already know these? What changes would you make? Or perhaps you have another team makeup that wasn't mentioned here at all. Leave a comment below because I'd love to know your compilation ideas. That's it for today guys, if you enjoyed the video be sure to share, like, and subscribe to my channel for more Overwatch content. My name is Chit, and I approve this message. It's high noon. I don't feel. Call the Undertaker.